Hello everyone, and this is just going to be a quick video on how to make a Spotify song code or share code or whatever uh, that you can use for 3D printing. We're going to use Fusion 360, so you will need that. If you don't have it, you can get an account for free. The first step is to get the SVG for the Spotify code. So we can do that using spotifycodes.com. If we right click on a song, for instance, we can get copy Spotify URI, and that's what we need to paste in here. So we hit get Spotify code. And then under format, make sure you select SVG and then hit download and just save that to our desktop. Then go ahead and pop over to the Fusion and up at the top, click insert and then SVG. And I'll select the uh, bottom plane here and select the SVG file and hit the one on my desktop. If for some reason it comes in flipped or whatever, you can use these little flip tools to flip it. Spotify needs the Spotify logo circle on the left side, and we also want the background as well. So just click OK, and we should see um, all of these profiles that we can then extrude. However, the Spotify creator leaves this top edge open. There's a little gap here, and it also does the same thing uh, with the bottom one. So we just have to repair those really quick. The easiest way to do this is to just um, we can select both of these lines and then right click on them and hit fix slash unfix and they should turn blue, meaning we can edit them. Then if we go to coincident, you can just click on the endpoint of that line with the endpoint of that line. It should join them up for us. And if I turn profiles back on, now you see we have a solid profile there. So we'll just want to do that to this bottom one here as well. So select both of those, fix, unfix. Then just coincident constrain them together. And again, we have a solid profile. Click finish sketch and then grab the uh, extrude tool and just make a box select from left to right. If you are unfamiliar with what this is going to do, um, this will only select everything that is fully in the selection box. As you can tell by like the box is a solid blue line. If you select from right to left, you get this dotted blue line, which means it'll select anything that it partially touches. So like that selects nothing, but that will select anything that it touches. So we want to select all of these inside bits. And Fusion's going to lag for a second while it makes all these selections for us. Then just deselect these inside profiles because they don't belong in the logo. And we can just extrude that like five mil. And then it's going to lag for a second while it, it does all of its uh, geometry generation. Now, once that's done, go ahead and turn that sketch back on and grab extrude one more time because we do want to extrude the bottom a little bit so everything is joined together. And then also select these three inside faces. We can just extrude that like two millimeters up. And we should get left with something like this. We can turn that sketch off. So this should just be one solid body. And then you can export this as an STL. So we'll just save that really quick. Um, And then inside of your slicer, which I am using Simplify 3D, let me just put that up here. Um, we can grab one of my Ender profiles, and if we drop that STL in, we can bring that in and then use the variable settings. And we'll just add a location right there. So now if I print this with those two processes, I can have a color change happen between process one and process two, and that will allow me to have like the background be be black and the, the Spotify actual code be white or, or whatever you want. Um, there are some guidelines on their website about like best practices of, of how to um, size them and stuff. So it is worth checking that out. But ultimately, that's that's the whole process. It only takes a couple minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.